Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over how to calculate stock splits. The number of shares you'll have after, after a stock split and what the stock price will be and your investment value. And so I'll cover both stock normal forward splits and also reverse stock splits. So I'll use Tesla as an example. So back in August of 2022, the company did a three for one stock split. Now, if you go to Yahoo Finance, which I'll show you right now, you go on there, you'll see that the price doesn't show what the price was beforehand. It just shows you the, the price going forward. So it's adjusted for retroactively. So you're not gonna see it, but you will see that there's a three for one stock split. Now, if we go to a news article from Reuters, it'll tell us that you know Tesla did a stock split that day you know at the close it was 891.29 before the split on Wednesday right and then it closed at 296.07 the following day so let's work this into our calculations so stock price was $891.29 that was before the split now to calculate our investment value we're going to take stock price multiply it by the number of shares that we own Right, so if we had, let's say, 10 shares of Tesla, our investment's worth 8,900. So let's say we did, let's say we had 15 shares, so about $13,000 uh, of investment. Now, to calculate the number of shares we'll have after the split and after the stock price, we just need to uh, enter in the split factor. Right, in this case, it's three for one, so I'll enter a value of three here. And so when you're splitting the number of shares, it's basically just cutting them into in this case three pieces so if you've got one share that share is cut into three pieces so we're multiplying it right so we're taking the number of shares times three and so we'll have 45 shares of tesla stock but because we've cut it into three pieces that stock price also goes down by a factor of three in this case we have to divide it by that so we've got so we've got that stock price 297 Point one, and that was around what it closed that. So it closed a little bit lower than that. And now to calculate the value of our investment after that split, you can see it's identical, right? So by the end of the trading day, the stock will, will have moved. But if you're just looking at what the value is gonna be after the stock split, then all we're doing here is we're multiplying it by a factor of three because you know if you've got one share then what they're doing with a stock split, they're giving you three shares in exchange for that one. So it's like you're cutting into, th into you're taking that one uh, stock and cutting it into three three pieces now. So you've got three pieces of it, but the, the value of that is still the same. It's just spread across those three, uh, three stocks now, three shares. So in essence, a stock split doesn't have an impact on your investment value. The main reason they may wanna do it is because you know the share price gets really high at eight hundred ninety one dollars, and so you know to make it more more appealing to investors uh, at a lower price point, maybe some people um, you know can't own fractional shares, right? And you know you don't want to buy just one share of one share of Tesla stock, right? And just have an eight hundred ninety dollar uh, price here. In this case, with a stock split, you're buying three, then you, for that same eight hundred ninety dollars. So. I, I think part of it is, is is that the affordability because you know some people don't own fractional share or they can't own fractional shares depending on their their brokerage and also you know maybe mentally it's it's you know people don't want to own just 0.5 of Tesla stock right it's not not as nice as saying you know you own 10 shares or 50 shares or whatever the case may be so I think it's really just to do uh, do with that as the main reason but as you can see when you're doing a stock split it doesn't make any difference. Now another example I'll give you is a reverse stock split. So again, this one doesn't matter, but this has the reverse effect. And I'll show you a stock that recently uh, announced is doing a reverse split. So I've never heard of this company, Signs 37 Holdings, a one for 20 reverse stock split. So, you know, we can see that, um, you know, it's doing that to stay above the $1 minimum bid. So with these exchanges, like the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, a stock has to stay above $1, otherwise it gets delisted. So that's the main motivation for uh, stocks in this situation. And if you look at Science 37, it's, its stock is worth 
23 cents, 0.232. So now let's clear these values here. So let's say we've got a stock price of 0 0.232 and we're not doing anything here. We'll just leave that as an error for now. And let's say we own 10,000 shares because this is a pretty small, a small amount for the stock price. So we've got a, a $2,300 investment, but we own 10,000 shares of the stock. So now it's doing a, a one for 20 split. So in this case, you know, we are going to um, give the company our, our one stock or our 10,000 shares, and it's only going to give us, you know, one for, for every 20 shares that we give them. So it's effectively dividing by two. In, in Tesla's case, when we're doing a normal forward split, we were getting, you know, more shares back because the company's value is so high, the stock value is so high, they wanted to lower it. In this case, they want to increase it. So what I'm going to do for the factor is take one divided by 20. And now you'll see that after the split, that those 10,000 shares, we gave the company 10,000 shares. They give us back only 500. Right, so they, that's why it's called a share consolidation in that case. They're, they're stitching them back up. It, with a split, you know, you can imagine scissors cutting them into pieces. With a consolidation, you're effectively gluing them back into it, into one bigger piece. So you're taking, you know, for every 20 shares, they're gluing them together to make one whole piece now. But now, you're left with only 500 shares. But now those shares are worth $4.64. So that would be the value of them after that reverse split happens. And so, you know, the stock's going from 23 cents to $4.64, right? So that's a big difference. It's well above that $1 threshold, that $1 minimum for the NASDAQ. And, you know, you may be wondering, okay, well, why didn't they go, they go less than that? Why couldn't they have done, you know, let's say one for 10, right? I could have got them at $2. And, you know, I don't, have a, an answer as to why they might pick one or the other other than you know if they're going to one for 20 that gives them much more of a buffer than one over 10 because here that four dollars obviously they'd have to you know decline a heck of a lot more from where they are versus if they're at two dollars to breach that one dollar threshold again so it just gives them a bit more breathing room so that way you know if they just did a reverse split just to get them to the one dollar mark and then the stock went down again soon after, then they'd have to go through the whole process of doing a reverse split again, getting um, getting approval. And so that's the main incentive is to, you know, make a big enough reverse split that, you know, you, do, you don't have to do it again. You know, even though it doesn't matter, your investment value is the same. The main motivation is that, you know, a reverse split is just, it's just even though it doesn't make uh, any impact on, on on an investment, it's not a great thing to announce because it's just a reminder that, hey, the stock's been doing really badly, so we need to do a reverse split to stay listed on the exchange. So as long as shareholders approve it, you know, there's no issue with doing it. And it's really, again, just to stay above the minimum. No, no company really wants to do a reverse split just because, you know, it has that negative connotation. You know, a forward stock split, like in Tesla's case, that's a good sign. You know, the company's stock price is high enough where they feel okay we we want to bring it down so that you know it's at it's at a lower price point it's more accessible to people you know that's that's generally generally you know not bad news it's, it's i wouldn't say it's great news just because it really doesn't do anything but lower that price so if you're going to invest five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars it makes no different you just own a different number of shares but effectively um you know it just for for people who again don't want to invest maybe thousands of dollars maybe they can only afford a, a few hundred dollars right they and they don't want to bu buy 0.5 of of tesla stock right in that case you you know for those people it might be more attractive to buy you can own a, a whole share of the company again even though it really doesn't matter these days because in a lot of cases you can own fractional shares but essentially with stock splits it makes no difference whether it's a reverse split um or a forward split your your investment value stays that stays the same you know they could have done a one for 200 reverse split you know your investment value does not change just the number of shares the stock price that's that's it essentially you're just getting a different different slice of your your investment sliced up into to do a different number of parts but other than that whether you're doing a reverse split or a normal split 
you're just needing to determine what factor you're multiplying. So this is a simple template you could create if you wanted to um, do your calculations. All, all we're doing is, is you know, taking the number of shares, multiplying it by the split factor, and for the stock price, we're doing the same thing except we're dividing it by that. And so it's the same thing if it's a if it's a forward split, as in Tesla's case, we just we just did multiplying it by a whole number of three. If it's a reverse split, as in this case, we're doing one divided by that uh, that split factor. So. Hope you found this video useful. If you did like it, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.